everybody, Ken here from Whistleberry Arts Tutorials and today we're going to be editing some of the photos that we took in our previous tutorial where we were taking high speed off camera flash smoke photos. So if you shot in RAW, which I highly recommend that you do, when you open up your images in Photoshop, they'll open up here in Camera RAW. So don't be surprised if they open up here instead of your traditional Photoshop. That just means you're working with the NEF files. I think it stands for Nikon Electronic File. We'll do a little bit of work in Camera Raw and we'll do a little bit of work in traditional Photoshop 2024. These are all the photos I chose. I took probably 200 photos altogether and I narrowed it down to about these, I think 25 or something like this. So for various reasons, I chose these photos. We won't work with all of them. We'll do a few things with some select photos. The first one I want to look at is this one right here. The idea, of course, is to have this really great contrast. The lights and the blues and the whites and the grays against the stark black background. On this one, though, there's quite a bit of light on the background. And the reason for this, actually, is because our flash, which was right just off camera, blasted through this really thick bubble of smoke and it in fact reflected on our background. But what we want to do is take this light part of the background and we want to darken it up so that we get this really stark striking contrasty image. So we're going to do that by using this group of tools over on your right and we're going to start with white. And we've got our exposure, so we're going to bring up our exposure just a little. Not too much, and this is completely up to you. It's totally your taste. You don't want to crank it up because of course you're going to blow the whole thing out, but you want to really bring those whites forward. And we're bringing them forward a little more than we might want to because when we start working with contrast and shadows, we're going to be bringing some of those dark areas back in, and that allows us to do that without losing too much of our white. So now we've got our exposure up just just a little bit we're going to do some contrast sliding here so we'll grab the slider and just move your slider to your right a little bit and you can see that that contrast is already starting to come in we're losing some of this light area that's becoming a little bit darker We'll jump down to shadows and we'll bring these shadows down a little bit and you can see again we're getting darker and darker and darker. Go slow, take your time. I think we're still a little bit light over here so we'll bring our blacks down a little bit and we'll really darken that up. And now we have that really nice striking contrasty dark background with all of the contrast that we want. Well, we'll close light and we'll go down to color. We can change our temperature by bringing the slider over so we can make it blue if you want it blue. You can maybe make it a little more ochre colored if that's what you like. You can ch change your tint, bring in your greens or your purples and reds. Again, your vibrance. I wouldn't do too much with that. That's a little gaudy looking. And your saturation, you can bring up the saturation to pull whatever those natural colors are in there, or you can drag it right down and make it a completely and totally black and white image. That's totally up to you. I'm going to set all of these back to zero, and I'm happy with this photo as it is right now. So now I've done everything that I want to do in Camera Raw, so I want to move it over to my regular Photoshop. So I'm going to click open and it opens here in our regular Photoshop. It's still an NEF file and that's okay, we're going to convert it to a JPEG later on. So now we're going to use a couple of simple tools and we're going to go in and we're going to clean this up just a little bit. I don't know if you can see very well, but I can see that here, here, down here, there's another one over here. There's little specks and what these are is actually sort of little flecks or little pieces of burning tissue or whatever it is that makes up the incense sticks. It kind of pops and flies around. So we want to get rid of those things because we cranked up that contrast and now we can see them. 
So let's go in and we're going to do a fairly in-depth look to make sure that we can find them all and make sure that we can correct them all so they don't show up in our final shot. So to do that, we're going to zoom in. So holding down Command on your Mac or Control on your PC and Plus, that allows us to zoom in as many times as you need to. And I like to just, I'm just going to start at the bottom corner and we're just systematically going to work our way through. Now we want to make our little tool here a little bit smaller. So we're going to do that by using the square brackets. The left square bracket makes it smaller, the right makes it larger. And we're going to use the spot healing brush tool. And this is neat because you just literally hover over it, put it in your center and click, and it just sort of grabs all that outside information and fills it in. And then you don't have to worry about it, it just disappears. And then slowly just work your way up and choose each one as you see them. So that's pretty much got it, and that's all of our little flecks and things. This is, I think, actually a finished image. I don't think there's much else that we really want to do. Uh, you may want to convert it into black and white. I would suggest before you make any major changes outside of those actual fixes that you duplicate this layer. And you do that by highlighting the layer, holding down Commander Control and J. And that makes a duplicate layer, as you can see. Now you can make a bunch of changes on here if you want to. And then if you just click this little eyeball, uh, you'll see the difference. And if you don't like it, you don't have to be committed to changing your entire image. So I'm going to try to turn this into a, a monochrome black and white image. I'm going to do that by going to image and adjustments, and then I'm going to go down to black and white. And what that does is that allows you to change your black and white, but it also can still sense what colors are actually in your photo. And so you can make adjustments to sections of your photo based on those colors. So by sliding that around, I can see that there's no red. There might be a bit of yellow. Not really. Any green? No. But there will be blue and cyan. Any magenta? No. So now we have a finished photograph. Something else that you can do with a photograph like this that's really kind of interesting You've got your extra layer. Let's duplicate that again. So Commander Control plus J. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of half of this image. And I'm gonna do this really simply. I'm gonna to go to my eraser tool and I am going to go to the block because it's a nice sharp edge. I'm gonna find roughly the middle right here. I'm going to hold down shift because that means it's going to give me a nice straight line and I'm just going to slide up and down and you can't tell because they're one right on top of the other perfectly aligned but I actually made a little eraser line right here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to flip this image a little bit. So we're going to go over here to edit, transform and then flip horizontal and now we've just flipped this image. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to erase this whole half of the photo. So I'm going back to my eraser. Now I'm gonna go back to my brush because I can make it nice and large. And I'm going to just get rid of that whole half of the image. Now this side, I can use my move tool and I can move it around and I can make some kind of weird mirror image. And now you've kind of got something very interesting. When I get to this point, I also like to sort of look at the image itself and what can I see in it? I can see a face up here, two eyes, a nose, and maybe a mouth and a chin. I don't know, maybe there's somebody praying right here. It's hard to say. I mean, it's totally and completely up to you, but we've done something kind of interesting. If we decide that this is the image that we want, I'm going to call this one prayer. We're going to go up to file. We're going to save a copy. Then we're going to change the name to prayer. I'm going to call it prayer and smoke. And the format is going to be JPEG. And where are we going to keep it? In our smoke tutorial photos. We're going to leave it right there. We're going to choose save. It's going to ask us, do we want to save it? I like to save it as a large file and then I click OK. Now if we go to our smoke tutorial, here we have it right here. 
Now it didn't really quite line up so I might want to go back in and make a couple of changes. Uh, I'm not going to do that right at the moment but that is something that you might think about doing later on. So now let's say you want to make some other changes to this photo. We're going to open this photo, Prayer and Smoke. We're going to open with our Photoshop, our current version of Photoshop. There it is. That's our full version now. This is it right here. You can see it's only a single layer. And I want to make this uh, a different color. So I'm going to go to Image, Adjustments, and I'm going to go to Color Balance. And I'm going to turn it blue. And I'm going to bring up the red so it goes into this purpley kind of color and then I'm going to make it really dark blue or maybe I want to make it more red or pink or something you know it's completely and totally up to you what you want to do with it I like that this is now our final photo I've decided I don't like that so I'm going to go command Z or control Z that's going to undo what we just did and the one thing that I forgot to do I forgot to duplicate my background so we're gonna do that command J or control J so let's say we want to make this a gradient color we want to start with one color and move it down to another color as it goes down to the bottom to do that we're going to go over to our toolbox we're going to hold control and left click and open our toolbar and we're going to choose gradient tool if you don't have gradient tool you're going to click edit toolbar you're going to see all of these tools that are in your toolbar and then you're just going to grab them and drag them over so just I'm going to bring quick selection tool over drop it and then when you're done you're happy with it you just hit done and now that will show up in your toolbar as well so we're going to choose our gradient tool this is the gradient that we've got live right now i'm going to change this i don't like it so much i'm going to change it to this one right here now i'm going to start right here i'm going to hold down shift and i'm going to drag straight down and let go so we've just put a gradient over our entire image. Now we're gonna go over here to our blending modes where it says normal, and we're going to go down to color. Click your move tool, and now you've got this really cool kind of gradient that is making your image even more interesting. Another really interesting thing you can do, super easy, is you can simply invert this image. So rather than the white on black, it'll be black on white. And it actually ends up looking really cool. So you do this by holding down Command and clicking the I button. And then over here, I have closed off the gradient that we had earlier, but I'm gonna turn it back on. And now we have a very beautiful version of that same photo. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to choose one of the cigar photos that we took. So here's a really good one. I really like the curls in the smoke. There's a little bit of these flecks that we're going to have to fix up. But the big issue right here is going to be that we have a big bright spot as compared to this darker spot. So let's fix that first. So we're going to go up to image, go to adjustments. We'll go to brightness and contrast. Similar to what we did in camera raw, we're going to bring the brightness up a little bit. So we're going to bring that brightness up and then we're going to pull that contrast up a little. It's not going to be perfect and that's okay. We've got other tools that we can use. Now we're going to play with some of our other colors. So let's go to our image adjustments and we'll go to selective color. So we, again, have all of these different colors, reds, yellows, blues in our photo, and we can make adjustments to all of these just with these sliders here. Same with our yellows. And then we'll get into our neutrals. That'll help in here. Now this is where you have to be careful because you don't want to end up losing all of this really great smoky, misty stuff. And then we'll go to our blacks. You have to be very, very careful with your blacks because they can overpower your shot very quickly. 
So we're done with that. We're happily filled in our darks and everything. We've got our lights over here. We haven't lost too much of our cigar. We're going to hit OK. Now we have a couple of issues still, of course. We've got a piece of the background that's showing here. We don't want that. We've got the wire that was holding up the cigar. And of course, we've got our incense stick. So the other thing is I don't like this angle. I think it's on like about a 45 degree angle and I feel like it should be a little more subtle in angle. So I'm going to use my crop tool, which is in my toolbar. And then if you just bring your mouse off to the side, it'll allow you to make some of those slight changes. So I'm just going to actually angle shift so that this little section of the background disappears. It's now out of frame. I'm happy with that. I'm going to hit enter. And now I'm going to go in with my healing tool and I'm going to fix up some of these little sparks and get rid of this stuff that I don't want. So we're going to hold command or control in the plus to zoom in. And we're going to go get our spot healing brush and we're going to start healing. Let's start with the little stuff. I think that's all of our debris. So let's go and let's focus on these areas here. So let's make our brush a little bit wider by using the right square bracket. And then you just paint directly over this thing, just like that, and it disappears. We're gonna do the same thing with our wire, and then we'll go in and get a little more fine-tuned in here, get a little closer to our object. And it's all disappeared. I'd like to try to bring up some of this right here as well okay and i can do that by using a tool called the dodge tool and that's a tool that just sort of brings up the highlighted colors and areas and then the burn tool will do the opposite it fills things in makes it darker And then I'm going to use the burn tool because I want to see if I can get some of this ash back into the ash part. And that's got it. That's our final photo. So we started out with the images that look like this. And we'll finish up with images that look like this. So that's it. Keep taking your smoke photos, keep editing, and I promise you, you're going to wind up with something very cool. Until next time, this is Ken Turner, Whistleberry Arts Tutorials. We'll see you later.